Hello guys, today we will discuss the important features of the fundamental data type int. Before watching this video, I recommend you guys to watch my previous video. Then you will be knowing the different types of data types that support in C programming language. Int data type is used to store only integer values. The integer values are nothing but positive numbers, negative numbers and it includes zeros. Next, the size. It is an important phenomena that you have to know. Actually the size of any data type depend upon the processor that you are using. For example, 16 bit processor it can hold 2 bytes of data and 32 bit 4 bytes of data and 64 bit 4 bytes of data in case of int data type. If you guys want to know how many bytes of data that your system is taking then you can make use of size of operator in your program. Then you will be able to know how many bytes of data that the system is taking. Modifiers. Modifier are used to modify the data type that you are using in your program. These are the modifier which it support. For example, short, long, 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 signed int and unsigned int. Short modifier. Actually, the short is used to store for small integers value. Consider a scenario where you have 4 bytes of int data type but you want to store only 2 bytes of data in it then you can make use of short modifier in front of your int data type then it will reduce it to 2 bytes of data long if we need to store large integer value then we can make use of long modifier long 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 can be repeated twice to create long long modifier this type is used for even larger number than long modifier. Text signed int. Signed variable can hold both positive and negative integer including 0. For example, you can see below. P can store positive number. Q can store negative numbers and R can store zero value and unsigned int the unsigned variable can hold only non-negative integer values for example you can see X can store 89 which is a positive value and Y can store zero because integer includes zeros also and the important note that you have to keep in your mind is by default the integer are signed hence instead of signed int we can directly use int like int a is 10 but default it will be signed variable a will be signed variable and one more thing short is equivalent to short int long is equivalent to long int long long is equivalent to long long int if you are not writing int after short then it is it will be considering it as short int
lectures i will be discussing the range of data type the predefined variable is there to find the range of data type and there is a formula which you can make use to find the range of the data type that you are using